Hello, my name is Elder Price, and I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Hello, my name is Elder Grant. It's a book about America a long, long time ago. It has so many awesome parts. You simply won't believe how much this book can change your life. Hello, my name is Elder Green. I would like to share with you this book of Jesus Christ. Hello, my name is Elder Young. Hello, did you know that Jesus lived here in the USA? You can read all about it now. Hello, in this nifty book it's free, no you don't have to pay. Hello, hello, my name is Elder Smith. And can I leave this book with you for you to just peruse? Hello! 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 I'll just leave it here. It has a lot of information you can really use. Hello! Hi! My name is Jesus Christ. You have a lovely home. Hello! It's an amazing book. Bonjour! Hola! Ni hao! Me llamo Elder White. Are these your kids? This book gives you the secret to eternal life. Sound good? Eternal life. Jesus Christ. It's super fun. Hello. No, no, Elder Cunningham, that's not how we do it. You're making things up again. Just stick to the approved dialogue. Elders, show it. Hello. Hello. My name is Elder Cunningham. And we would like to share with you this book of Jesus Christ. Hello. 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 Just take this book. It's free for you. Me. You see, you simply won't believe how much this book will change your life, will change this book, will change your life. The company of last year's Tony winning best musical, The Book of Mormon, everyone. Let's hear it for him. Well done. What a great way to start the show. Welcome, everyone, to the 66th Annual Tony Awards, or, as we like to call it, Fifty Shades of Gay. I had to. I had to. Honestly, though, theater's the best, isn't it? You get to go... Yes, you come to places like this. You go and you sit in the dark for two hours, and you just escape. Instead of thinking about your own childhood problems, you watch a childhood fairy tale come to life before your eyes. Instead of stressing about your own relationships, you watch two people from different parts of the world fall in love and make beautiful music together. Instead of worrying about the news of today, you hear about the news of yesterday. Delivered by overly attractive, hyper-acrobatic 35-year-old, 15-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, what if life was like that all the time? What if life were more like theater? What if everywhere you went, 
you heard a band. <laughs> Wouldn't life be so much sweeter if you could cue the weather with your hand? Cool. And what if all your questions had rhyming answers and you never left home without your backup dancers? What if life were more like theater? Wouldn't life be grand? What if life were tightly written and divided into nifty little scenes? You're my whole world. The world's a big, pretty big place, Amanda. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? It means I'm leaving you. No! In truth. Oh, Mia. Ha, and just as you were split, your apartment disappeared by unknown means. Thanks, mysterious people in black clothing. And, and what if no one thought that there was something strange about a magical seven-second costume change? Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then, apropos of nothing, there were crazy dance routines. One's diction were crisper. crisper. Secrets were told in a shouting whisper. And the only problems that mattered were your own. Hey, you guys want to hear me sing about my problems? Yeah! I love my fake friends. <laughs> what if everyone took it for granted that British umbrellas were all enchanted? Wow. You can hardly see the cables. And, 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 and your next door neighbor was the legendary Patty Lapone. Yeah. Hi, Patty. Hi, yeah. We're more exciting, more dramatic, intriguing, intense. If every moment were nail biting, feared with ever mounting danger and suspense. And just when you were in the most precarious position, you would get a brief intermission. Nice, fellas. Nice crowd. Uh, I like the matinee better. Way. Act two! What if all of your colleagues were hotties? With freakishly flexible bodies And none of them needed to sleep or eat or pee And if one day you feel kinda cruddy You'd stay home and call your understudy Yes, the role of camera will now be played by me Actually, you know what? I'm feeling better now, so I'm good. Because yeah. I the last verse. No, no, I'm good. But you sound tired, Neil. You sound tired. No way you threaten me! What if life were more like theater? With the simple motivation and the plot. Don't we all wish life were neater? But we know that in reality it's not. No, life is bleak and brutal, and we carry from the cradle The awareness that it's futile and invariably fatal We muddle without respite through the sadness and confusion Or we huddle in the cesspit of our madness and delusion Hold on! Hold on! We've been lizards, Mr. Patrick Harris! Don't be a downer! This is the Tony Awards! And remember, the sun will come out tomorrow! Really? You know, you got a point, little orphan know-it-all. But, um, since you're not back on Broadway till next fall, why don't you go, uh, you know, find your parents? <laughs> Big finish! Life were more like theater. Life wouldn't suck so much. Life wouldn't suck, wouldn't suck. Life wouldn't suck so much.
I'm just saying. <laughs>